One of the things that made Dragon Ball an anime favorite is its many different super attacks that each character possesses. Whether it's Krillin's Destructo Disc, Vegeta's Gallic Gun, Piccolo's Special Beam Cannon, or Goku's Spirit Bomb, Dragon Ball simply wouldn't be the same without them. Most of the super attacks are already unlocked for you as soon as you gain control of different characters, but some of the best super attacks must be unlocked using a special currency called D-Metals, which can be a little tricky to find. And if you consider yourself a hardcore Dragon Ball fan, make sure to stick around for the last way to find D-Metals as you'll appreciate that tip the most. What's up guys, thank you for tuning in to Ice TV. My name is Philip Price and today we're showing you the four best ways to collect D-Metals. If you guys find this video or any of my videos helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Doing so helps the channel to grow. Now, if you have enough D-Metals and you have already advanced the corresponding technique to the appropriate level, you can attempt the battle that will unlock the next super attack. This is done at locations called Training Grounds, which are marked on the map by a flexing bicep. There are also a couple of trophies that are directly tied to D-Metals, not only by collecting them, but also by using them to acquire new super attacks. Number 1. Complete Substories There are a few different ways that D-Metals can be obtained. The easiest way is to basically play the game and complete as many substories as you can. While not every substory will reward you with D-Metals, the bulk of your D-Metals will come from the substories. Number 2. Free Roam Collecting The next way is simply to fly around the world scanning for them. D-Metals will pulsate pink, purple, green, and blue and all spawn in fixed locations. You don't need to collect every D-Metal to unlock all the super attacks, so if you get tired of doing this, just switch over to one of the other methods. If you guys would like to see me do a video with every D-Metal location, let me know in the comments below. Number 3. The Z Encyclopedia If you haven't taken a good long look at the Z Encyclopedia, you may not be aware that for every entry you've unlocked, you'll be rewarded with D-Metals. If you are as far into the game as I was when I first checked my Z Encyclopedia, you'll have a pleasant amount of D-Metals just waiting for you to claim. Number 4. Memorial Spots Like I promised at the beginning of this video, for all you hardcore Dragon Ball fans, this may be the most enjoyable way to collect D-Metals. By now, you've probably found these little memorial spots that are just throwbacks to the old Dragon Ball anime. Well, did you know that you can pay the Witch Baba to mark your map with these locations? It only costs a thousand zenny, and each memorial spot unlocks another Z Encyclopedia entry, which, guess what? Rewards you with more D medals. If you're struggling for zenny, check out my Soul Emblem Max Level Guide, as you can just sell the item that you farm in that video for easy zenny. I'll leave a link to that guide in the description below. And that's it! If there is anything that you're struggling with in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and would like to see me make a guide on it, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to Ice TV. Uh, okay, who the well, hell I wouldn't bring all the of them because Alex has some shenanigans planned, so we might not. Who is this? <laughs> Alex, what the hell is this? <laughs> what did he do? I say. Get back! <laughs> oh, this is my fort! <laughs> Let's see right, so what happens three. to my magnificent tower. Two, Go ahead, do it, Price. One, summoning. I, I made the sacrifice. I'm getting the hell out of Oh, he's spawning uh, on top of me outside. <laughs> he's spawning in the left hand corner? Yeah. <laughs> he's there. What's up, Elder? Oh, I'm above him. Oh no, I'm eye level. Oh shit. <laughs> He's destroying the house. Slowly but surely. He's out of range right now. Draw him towards the moat if we can. There's a whole bunch of spikes up here, so if we can draw him towards the sides of these moats. On the roof. 
Alright, yeah, so come out th this way towards the walls. Is he aggroing my house? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think so. That's funny. Oh man, how are you supposed to kill this guy solo? Okay. Yeah, and he's very much so trying to melee me. Oh, oh Come god! On. Oh god! Yeah, he's going down. Yeah! Easy. Uh oh. No! Don't fall in the water. Oh, right. did it? 